The free SHS program was introduced in September 2017 by the new patriotic party NPP government in fulfillment of a campaign promise. In the run-up to the 2012 and 2016 general elections, the NPP made free SHS the flagship of its manifesto. However, inherent challenges, particularly in relation to supply food items, have left some critical stakeholders to call for its review to allow parents, corporate entities, parent-teacher associations, all student associations, among others, to contribute to it. Since its implementation, the government has spent 7.62 billion cities on the program. In 2017, the government expended 400 million cities on the program, but increased its disbursement to 904 million cities in 2018. In 2019, it shot up to 1.8 billion cities, but reduced to 1.75 billion cities in 2020. 2021, however, saw another decline to 1.19 billion cities. The Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, has reiterated its call for a drastic review and overhaul of the program to ensure its smooth implementation. If you look at the 2019-2020 report, it also tells us that 728,382 children, ages 15 to 17 years, who are supposed to be in, uh, in SHS, they are not in school. This is the budget. This is not my. This is the 2023 budget. With a promise that we are going to review it. And within six weeks, we get it done. Within six weeks, they are to report on it. We are in the month of August, eight months down the line. I have not seen a single review that has been done. But according to the Ghana Education Service, stakeholders should seek its approval before supporting any school. But the NAT General Secretary, Thomas Musatanko, disagrees. Is GES saying that when the stakeholders have met and they have taken their decision on how to support the school, they should not come and seek clearance before they should come and support the school? We don't get this thing, so we don't get it. And that is why we are in difficulties. Basic schools are in difficulty. And like we always say, the head, the head teachers, they pre-finance basic school. Basic school capitation grant is in areas for over five terms. That's not being paid. How do you improve quality of teaching and learning? He said, now to continue to advocate until government heeds to its call. And with from Lin Kuan Yu, my friend. You see, and this book, I'm always in love with it. He said from Third World to first world. So this book is a lesson for future leaders, for our leaders today and that of the future. And that when there is something and we are talking about it, they must stop and listen. You rise to Singapore, why? Because Singapore is well developed. Go and see whether that place is like where we are now. We were ahead of them some years ago. But today, look at where we are. We are with the IMF. And we've gone there 17 good times. It is about time that we take our destiny into our hands. And the only way we can do that is by always sitting down to discuss issues.